Hello everybody, welcome family. My name is Ayanda and I am from Incense Haven. In today's video, I'm going to do a practical demonstration of how to perform a cord cutting ritual. Okay, this is something that you do if um, you want to break off a spiritual connection that you have with someone. Okay, so this will be particularly useful to those of you who find it difficult to heal from past relationship traumas. You're finding it difficult to accept what actually happened and to move on from it. Or you, or you are finding it difficult to let go of a, a person okay um so this could be um where a romantic relationship is concerned or it could be um where it was a platonic relationship as well okay if you want to let go of the person you feel that the connection that you have with them no longer serves you and you want to move on this is what you need to do okay before we get into the actual demonstration i just want to quickly do a run through the products or the materials that we need to complete the ritual okay firstly you're going to need two candles one black candle and one white candle the black candle represents them or the person that you are cutting ties with and then the white candle represents you okay then we're also going to need a needle the needle we're going to use to carve on the candles. The black candle, which is them, you're going to carve their names and date of birth. White candle, which is you, you're going to carve your name and the date of birth. And then we're going to need a spiritual oil. I'm going to use the Magic Arts Spiritual Oil. Uh, if you are not in South Africa and you cannot access the Magic Arts Spiritual Oil, which is available on our website, um, you can use any other cleansing spiritual oil or banishing spiritual oil. Then you are going to need twine. If you do not have twine, you can also use wool. So that we use to tie around the candles so that would represent the cord that we are actually cutting okay we're also going to need uh, sea salt as well as rosemary rosemary and sea salt are very good for cleansing and uh, purification okay so i'm going to be using a rosemary smudge uh, you could also use the rosemary incense. If you do not have access to either, you could use Palo Santo wood you could, or incense. You could use California white sage. You can use Imbepo, which is a South African sage. You could also use sedum, okay, just to cleanse and purify the ritual and the space. Right uh, that's about all that we're going to need. Those are the basics, but obviously if you want to tweak it a bit um, and add additional items, you can do it. For example, maybe you have Florida water and you want to use the Florida water to smudge the room that you're going to be doing the ritual in, to cleanse the space that you're going to be doing it in. You are more than welcome to do it. But the items that I've given you, those are the basics that we need to perform our ritual. And then obviously you need a lighter to like your candle with <laughs> all right guys let's go straight into the the demonstration all right guys now we're ready to go ahead and do our cord cutting ritual um we have all the materials that we spoke about beforehand i'm going to start by cleansing my hands with my florida water my Florida water has been decanted into the spray bottle you see on the left, uh, just to make it easy for me to smudge myself with. So I'm going to start by smudging my hands with my Florida water, uh, just to cleanse and purify them. I've already smudged the room and the workspace that I'm going to use for the ritual. So then we're all set to go. And then uh, the incense that I'm burning on the side is the Tulsi healing incense. I like this incense in particular because it has camphor in it so we know camphor is good for healing so now using the eye of my needle i'm going to start with the other person's candle and carve their full name into the candle 
as well as their date of birth. Once that's done, I'm going to do the same on my candle using the eye of the needle. I carve my full name. By full name, by full name rather, I mean your name, second name, and your surname, as well as your date of birth. Then from there, we are going to go ahead and create the, the, the bridge. Okay, we're going to create the bridge because what we don't want is for the wax to meet in the middle. So once we burn our candles and the wax meets in the middle, that means you guys will likely meet again in the next life. So we want to create this bridge to prevent the wax from meeting. So this bridge we create with our sea salt. Sea salt is for cleansing and for purification as we all know. And then we're also going to add some rosemary herbs to the bridge. Now I'm going to anoint the candles with the magic arts oil. But like we said, if you don't have access to the magic arts oil, then you can always use any cleansing, any healing or any banishing oil. Again, guys, when we anoint, we use our dominant hand and we rub the oil onto the candle with our dominant hand from the top of the candle down to the base of the candle. So I start with the black candle, which is the other person's candle, and then I go ahead and do the same to my own candle. Starting from the top, run my palm down to the base right now that our candles are set we're going to go ahead and add the rosemary to the bridge so the rosemary herbs we're going to add to the bridge Guys, remember that if you're not comfortable doing um, this ritual on your own, you can contact us. Our contacts are on the description bar and we can do this on your behalf. So now I'm just setting the candles just to make sure that they are set firmly. And also while we do this, um, it's important for you to be alone so that you can meditate. You can meditate and really think about what this relationship that you are cutting cords or what this person that you are cutting cords from has done to you, the extent of damage that they have done, the good things that they've contributed to your life and really start letting them go. Visualize your life without them in it both physically and spiritually. And also forgive yourself for the role that you might have played in the relationship. Perhaps you feel that you did not stand up for yourself or you were not vocal enough or you could have done more. Release all those feelings and just let go. So now our candles are set. We're going to tie our cord so i've used twine remember that if you cannot access twine you can use wool instead so we just want to make sure that um we our we've tied it snugly it doesn't have to be too tight but just tight enough to sit firmly around both candles right so now we're going to get prepared to light the candles when we light our candles we start with the black candle that's the other person's candle the person that you're letting go of and then you move over to your candle but before that i'm just going to smudge using the same rosemary i'm going to smudge the the candles okay 
if you don't have access to rosemary you can use cedar you can use california white sage you can use imbepo it can either be the smudge stick or the incense stick it's also fine so when we smudge remember that we do clockwise so i'm just smudging to cleanse and purify and then we'll be ready to light both candles so once your candles are lit i want you to pay attention to the flames which flame is burning brighter than the other uh, and also pay attention to the candle itself is the how the wax is melting you want your wax to melt steadily if um your candle is sort of crying for lack of a better term um it, it means the person that person is struggling to let go or does not want to let go or is not ready to let go and then you also pay attention to which candle actually uh, cuts the cord so now i'm actually lighting the candles starting with the black again and then going over to the white I'm sorry guys, my camera angle is a bit off, um, but you'll see in a moment, I'll adjust it. So now our candles are lit. And this is the time when we um, meditate, actually, and begin our um, healing. It's also important, guys, that um, if it happens that one candle burns out um, before the other, as you will see here, the black candle is actually going to burn out before the white candle. So when that happens, you should actually snub the other candle off. So in this in instance, I'll, I snubbed off the white candle so that the other person does not steal energy from me. So you see how the black candle is burning with the wax pouring down uh -huh. so this means that the person is struggling or does not want or is not ready to let go but if you see my candle is burning nice and steadily the wax is in place is still intact and it is actually my candle that's going to snub the um, cord off There we go. All right, guys, that's it on our cord cutting video. I hope you found this video useful. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you have any general comments, you can drop them in the comment section below. Uh, you also find our contact numbers and the link to our e-store and all our social media pages on the description bar. Also, please let me take this opportunity to welcome all our new subscribers and thank you all for subscribing. It's a very warm welcome from me to you. I love you all guys and I'll see you soon on another video.